Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last video of the form, we saw how to get this uh, fields from the form and showing it in the message box. So now in this video, what we are going to see is how to get the information, uh, get the field information from the form and we are going to set the cell on the form name, contact number, DOB location, everything we are going to set the cell in this Excel. So for that, just we are going to add on o command called open Excel under the Excel advanced open and then the desktop file you can choose that file choose this file here on the desktop then the sheet contain header <coughs> save it so the step is after getting the field value from this text box of the form that is the name it, it getting the name from this uh, form and then it's going to store it in a variable string type under the variable of string type the variable name is name so the name has to be pasted in the uh, column a and the cell of a2 so how to do that so we open this excel here then in then this after this step there is a command called set cell excel set cell so this you can give as a specific cell so here you oh, so before giving the specific cell if you give the specific cell inside the loop uh, once again if you run the bot means it will paste it every information in this uh, row itself so for that uh, what we are going to do is there is a command called go to cell under the excel advanced go to cell before this loop start i'm going to put this go to cell which cell i have to go is it will start from a2 so go to a2 that um, now my active cell is a2 so here i can give the active cell and the cell value is what we have created in the sixth step so you can bring the name here okay then the same like uh, for the contact number also you can set cell under the excel advanced set cell command drag and drop after this one so this uh, now this active cell is same a2 only so before this one we have we have to give go to cell one cell to the right so now uh, my cell is on a2 and it paste the information what is uh, user in entered as in the name field so here it will enter the name so the next step will be go to one cell to the right so there is a command called go to cell go to cell under the advanced package after the set cell you have to go to the cell from the active cell to one cell to the right so after this my active cell now is b2 so you can uh, give this in an active cell the b2 cell value will be of uh, the before the ninth step we have created the contact number so that is of the we can uh, that will be pasted in the cell of b2 so next also it's going to go to one cell to the right copy this paste it after this so you can uh, after this uh, it, it getting the contact number and it set cell in the b2 and then it going to one cell to the right and and we are going to put the dob so same we can copy the set cell and go to cell paste after this so now the set cell will be of active cell itself and here you can give the vdob what we have created in this 13th step it will go to one cell to the right so after uh, pasting the dop here it will go to one cell to the right now the location okay so get set cell copy this alone you can paste it after this uh, what is the location so finally the location i will delete this message box okay okay now I, I will run the bot let me see
So here the form is gun displayed. Here I will enter the name. DOB location. If you click this register button, it will enter this information in the Excel. So see name, contact number, everything it's getting the information from the field and it entered in this Excel. So this is how we have to uh, get that information from the form and you can enter this information into the Excels. So if we are running the bot tomorrow, uh, it should not embed the information here. So what it will do, it will again go to A2 and if you run the bot tomorrow or the next time you are running, it will just uh, overwrite information here itself. So for that what we can do is, uh, after displaying this uh, form, uh, Excel advance open, uh, after that you are going to, you are not going to uh, go to cell of A2, that step we, are, we don't need. So for that we can give the keystrokes. Simulate keystrokes after this Excel open browser application form to Excel. Here, what I'm going to do uh, the last step here is it will set set the cell in the location of D2. So my active cell is D2. So what I'm going to do the keystroke will be Control Home. So the keystroke will be Control Home. Save it and then. It will be here and then it will go to the go to the next empty cell below to the down. So for that there is a command called go to cell. After this you can drag and drop this here from the active cell to one cell go to the next empty cell not to go to cell go to the next empty cell from the active cell to one uh, to the down. We will once again run the bot and see. So the form uh, is going to display. Open spreadsheet command. It's open the spreadsheet. What it's going done is it, it already done. Go uh, go to the uh, control home and then to the empty cell to the down. It already done this action. So I'm going to enter the information here. If I get, click the register button, it will um, oh, it will not override. It will append the information here. This is how we can if we run the bot next time, it will just append the information here. It will not override the information. So this is how the uh, form trigger loop that we have saw seen today. So uh, the first step, just we will just uh, display the form in front of the page. What the form we have created here, and then open Excel. Uh, then I just deleted the one command called go to cell of the cell A2. What it will do anywhere if you are any active cell is here or here anywhere if the active cell it will just go to the control home and then go to the next empty cell to the down. So it will start from here like that we can give. So that is a control home go to the next empty cell to the below and then the loop start get the get value from what are the information we have the user a entered and then set this set the information what what is the information they have entered and then at the last we can break the loop for the clear but there are reset button and also the cancel button so thank you for watching my video you can subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you